Yo, I am here with... Bailey. And Bailey is a complete stranger. We just met, right? Yes, yeah. Me and, and the Jack Manley. Jack Manley's behind the camera. We just walked up and we thought that she'd be cool for a little uh, little experiment, cool. a little yoga experiment. So let's go. I was talking to you a little bit about this earlier, but I kind of invented this new yoga. All right. Okay. It's called Prima Sati Yoga. Prima Sati Yoga. Prima Sati Yoga. Okay. And originally, I wanted to start teaching Tantra because I think it's so powerful because um, it's really hard for people to meditate these days because it's so boring. Yeah. Tantra. Try to get into it. Yeah, exactly. Tantra is kind of a combination between intimacy between two people and meditation, right? Okay. And I started teaching this and then I realized that what I was teaching was nowhere close to Tantra. In fact, it would be disrespectful to call it Tantra. Okay. Right? So essentially what so I was... So describe like Tantra to me. Like what is like the definition of that? So Tantra, it's, it's tough because a lot of the teachings are pretty secretive, right? Okay, yeah. But it's these different poses and the different mindsets that you do while having an intimate react or interaction with someone, right? Yeah. So, for example, a common pose is called the yab yum, right? Where I would be sitting cross-legged and you would be on top of me, mm -hmm. right? Instead of, you know, normally in this culture, the guy would be on top and the girl would be on in the bottom. And there's this, it's, it's like a, this clash of power where in the yab yum position, your chakras are perfectly aligned and there's more balance. And so, it really goes into a lot of different spiritual philosophies, I guess, right? But essentially all it is is you're being aware and focusing on your breathing, right? While engaging in this intimate moment with someone else. Okay. Right? Now, Prima Sati Yoga is different in the sense that there's just so much more to it. I mix a lot of new age ideas with, with the old style of like Tantra type stuff, yeah. right? And it's not only about the positions, but it's also about the connection that you build beforehand. I have a lot of different conversational practices that you do. I have a lot of like, um, I have this one kind of comedic conversation that really loosens things up. And then it's kind of my own type of breathing exercises. My, it's just from everything I've learned through relationships, spirituality, I've all kind of combined it into this one awesome okay, practice, cool. right? So Prima Sati. So what's the goal? Oh, awesome. So the only goal is awareness, right? Okay. That's what meditation is about. It's about increasing your awareness, being right? Present. Yeah, being present, okay. increasing your awareness and increasing your consciousness. Now, being in the present moment and enhancing the present moment is great, but what that can do, that can lead to some profound spiritual experiences. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So there's a reason why Buddhists meditate for 50 years, right? Yeah. Because they can have this incredible realization of their true nature. Mm -hmm. Right? That essentially they are not this finite individual character. They are the entire universe just experiencing that character. Yeah. Right? Essentially they are they are God. They are actually the creator of everything. They've just made themselves forget that in order to have this individualistic experience. Yeah. Right? So that's kind of the nature of spiritual practice is to get to that place eventually. Okay. Of this great realization of reality and yeah. at least complete liberation because all suffering that you've ever had in your life is due to the fact that you identify as this mind and body. Mm -hmm. Because if you identify with everything that isn't permanent, you're bound to suffer. Yeah. Because think about it, right? The mind and body will die eventually, mm -hmm. right? And if you identify with that, there's gonna be suffering. It's easier to think of, you know, you identify with your material possessions like a car, then you lose the car, scratch the car, that caused you to suffer, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So the idea is non-identification. This is where Prima Sati is so incredible is that through this meditation with another person I believe that you can have these incredible insights much faster because essentially what happens is that you can get these techniques make you so vulnerable and so close to the other person that that separation between you two goes away because right now you see you as a separate entity and me as a separate entity right right mm -hmm. but the goal and again the only goal is really awareness this is just the fruit of the, the labor, I guess. And of, of course, it, it won't happen today, but with enough practice, essentially you can get to a point where the separation between us vanishes. And all of a sudden you have this crazy experience where you see me and the entire environment as you. Now that might be hard to comprehend because it's beyond thought, it's beyond the mind. Yeah. Right, does that make sense? Yeah. But essentially you can have, it's like Mario waking up and realizing that he is not just Mario, but he is 
every pixel on the screen and all the circuitry that is creating the pixels. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, it's something that's beyond words. It's kind of something that you have to experience, I yeah. guess. Right? But, um, so yeah, that's kind of what Prima Sati is about. And I think it's a lot more fun, right? The actual, so Prima is, in Sanskrit, it means love. And Sati in Sanskrit means awareness. So it's a combination between, you know, love and intimacy mm -hmm. and like awareness and meditation. Yeah. Right? Okay. And then um, yoga is actually, um, it der it's derived from the Sanskrit word meaning, or yoj, which means unity, right? So what yoga really is about, we've kind of, the Western idea of yoga isn't really, it's not traditional in any sense. Yoga really means union. And that's what the fruit of the labor is, is that you realize the union with everything. That you are not just this individualistic character, you're literally the entire universe. Right. right? Mm -hmm. And again, that sounds all woo woo and, and like, oh, a cool little fairy tale, but don't trust me about this. You can actually verify this through direct experience. It just takes a lot of work, yeah. usually. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I know, I'm working on it still. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. That, this really all that matters, right? Well, I mean, it's, human connection is like the most important thing in life, so yeah, yeah. I, I get what you're saying. And um, yeah. And connecting and, yeah. When taken to the deepest level, you can be so connected that your sense of self vanishes and you are just everything. Yeah. Right? So that's kind of the goal. And again, probably right now, like nothing crazy like that is going to happen because if I was going to do a full session with you, a full Prima Sachi yoga session, we would talk about deep stuff, right? Like mm -hmm. um, insecurities. How else do you connect? Insecurities. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, like one thing that I like to do, especially if this got like really intimate, right? We would talk about like those intimate insecurities that everyone has. Yeah. Right. But I guess what we can talk about right now is like, you know, uh, what's in, what's, what are some insecurities that you have just when you're meeting like a guy, right? Like just if you're interacting with a new person like me, like what are some insecurities that you have? Um, damn. You can be honest because I, I guarantee you. I really you know. I don't, I'm I, just not really that insecure of a person in general. That's awesome, yeah. Just being honest. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Um, I don't know. I've done a lot of digging in my life. That's you really know, cool. So I knew you were perfect for this video. <laughs> I've done a lot of soul searching already, so I'm really like sure of who I am. So it's That's awesome. it's hard for me to get caught up on those things now, you know. That's so cool. At this point. Awesome. Anything that you get nervous about when you're interacting with a new person? Or are you just totally one hundred percent comfortable in, in this video? <laughs> I'm sure I'm not I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. Like I yeah. I'm not really nervous, but um I guess saying the right things or right. or maybe the lack of knowing what to say sometimes yeah um, man I don't know no I feel you exactly like that used to be me especially back in college everyone called me the quiet kid mm -hmm. and I was I was constantly just just like looking for things to say but I yeah. guess one of these profound realizations that you can have is that like each little one of this isn't this might sound like so woo woo and cliche, but I mean it on the most sincere level. All these imperfections that we have are actually this, this vital part of the universe that actually keeps the universe in perfect harmony, Yeah. right? Because I guess what you'll see is that the universe actually has a certain course, right? It's not some random stuff. Yeah, okay? I know, I know. And part of this course is it's becoming better and better and better and better. Now. People sometimes look at it at the narrow perspective of one lifetime, mm -hmm. right? We are raising our consciousness over, over many, many lifetimes. But the idea is that we have to have all these imperfections because if we did not, we wouldn't have the context of the perfect nature of reality. Right, Does that yeah. make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in the future, when you get more and more perfect as a person, you wouldn't really feel that perfection if you didn't get to look back and see how imperfect you were. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. So. You don't I know guess, bad unless you have bad. You are you are bad. Yeah, you, you don't can't. know good unless you have good in you. So. Yeah, yeah, you can't you can't know left if there's not a right, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That's kind of the idea. And so basically, the the idea is that like <laughs> everything that we do right now is absolute perfection. It's exactly how it's designed to be. It's exactly it's the only way that it. Basically, could be. like there is no good and bad. It's just yeah. it is what it is. Kind of. Yeah, thing. of course. Mm -hmm. Everything is actually good. Yeah. It's just um, the good and bad that we think of is it really just preferences that they have. They have some value, but essentially everything is perfection. And so everything that you do or everything that you say 
I'm going to see it as absolute perfection, right? right? That's what unconditional love really is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, you don't have to be nervous about anything. You could you could slap me or, or punch me in the face and like I would see it, oh, that, that was meant to happen, hmm. right? That's how we, as this yeah. infinite intelligence that we forgot we are, uh, like designed everything, yeah. right? Okay. A lot of woo-woo talk. Let's, um, yeah, I'd say we just start getting into like the actual okay. yoga, right? So first, let's just start out with some normal like kundalini type yoga. Uh, like individually, right? Okay. And then we can kind of do some partner stuff. So essentially what Kundalini Yoga is, and yes, I take various aspects of Kundalini Yoga and kind of, I, I twist it and make it a lot more fun and I think a lot more beneficial spiritually. Okay. Right? So basically, we'll just do some basic Kundalini Yoga to start. And the idea is, it's waking up the spine energy, right? There's this dormant energy at the bottom of your spine. You're opening up these energy channels. Our, ener our body is made of this energy and our channels are closed right now, right? And the design of this yoga is to awaken it, okay? okay. So basic, like one of the common kundalini yoga postures is, so essentially, yeah, we'll just sit like this, okay? And we put our hands up, okay? And we clasp our hands just like this and kind of point to the sky. Okay. Kind of like we're like a lightning rod, okay. right? And I'm gonna add my little twist to it, so remember, we want to really utilize like uh, the partner aspect okay. of this yoga. So what I want you to do is we're going to look into each other's left eye. Okay. okay. So this is called soul gazing and it's a very vulnerable position. It might seem kind of awkward, but the more we get into it, the more than that can evaporate that sense of self. Okay. Right. So the idea is to point this up like a lightning rod, feel like your lightning rod. And then on the out breath, I want you to kind of suck your stomach in. So it's so on the out breath, you kind of suck your stomach in and feel the energy on the out breath the energy from your core pushing up kind of into your third eye area. Okay. okay, so we'll just do like a few of these, um, probably like 20, okay? okay? So I'm gonna start breathing. You can synchronize the breath with me. Um, yeah, that's what I'll do. Just try and synchronize okay. the breath with me. Okay, ready? So. That's, a, that's one kundalini yoga pose. Okay. And then another one, right, to really wake up the spine and to get that energy flowing. Um, and again, just breathe however, however feels comfortable, but focus on the breath, Okay. right? Focus on how you're breathing. So it's this, I, I like to call this, I'm gonna come up with names for all these. You can help me, especially for my moves, because these, these aren't names. necessarily my moves, but you'll see that my moves can get pretty crazy. So I, maybe like the, the cat, the, uh, the, the black cat or the arching cat or something okay. like this. So it's like this. Um, I probably I probably inhale, arch the back this way, and then exhale, arch the back this way. All right, so it's really waking up the spine. So we'll do like 20 of these, ready? thing that we can really do to really maximize the feeling of like the energy right the prana running through our system is let's What's do prana so prana is that energy yeah. right it's the energy that comes in with the breath okay okay that raw energy and do you feel lightheaded at all from those yeah breaths? okay so we're gonna amplify that that's good okay. okay what that's doing that's deactivating the default mode network getting us into this deeper kind of present state and um, really yeah flowing flowing that energy so okay. let's do ten really deep breaths so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna breathe as deeply as we can, okay? And we'll do the soul gazing again. And on the last breath, on the 10th breath, we're gonna hold and then we're gonna like kind of push. You know how you're blowing, a, like if you're blowing a balloon, but you're not actually blowing air, right? So you're kind of pushing, but not letting the air blow. Does that make sense? Okay. So on the 10th breath, we're gonna do that and hold that for 10 seconds, okay? okay? So ready? So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lightheaded, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wow. That got me really lightheaded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
That's what it's supposed to do. Wow. Cool. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, I really felt that. Um, a lot of people um, know this, the Wim Hof method it's called, except I do a little variation where I actually do that breath hold at the, at the end. Wow, I still feel that. Okay, cool. Awesome. So yeah, that's kind of just some basic breathing exercises. So let's get into the partner stuff if you're down. Okay, cool. Um, I'd like to turn on some music and it's kind of like, really just, just feel the music, feel the energy. The goal of this is not only are we getting that kind of, at least I probably will, you're a very attractive person. I'm kind of going to be getting that kind of animalistic energy in my sacral chakra, okay, right? Cool. And then also that, uh, just this awesome connection with the other person. We're going to get that love energy going, right? And also just the energy from the music. The idea is to have all this different energy, all these different energies, and we're going to move these energies up to our third eye and our crown chakra, okay. right? So the idea is that you can feel on the in-breath all that prana going down your spine and all the way to the bottom of your spine. And the out-breath, you kind of feel it coming back out, right? Okay. And that's the idea. And so I'm going to get my speaker out. We're going to play some music. Cool. And I'm kind of just... I'm halfway winging this. This is very, cool. it's very spontaneous. Nice. It's very in the moment. And um, we're kind of just gonna do some moves that I feel really move the energy, okay. right? And so let me turn this on. How'd you feel about the, the yoga that we've done so far? Feel good? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, I took a, what's it called? Sh sh chakra? What's chakra? It? Chakra. I took some like, it was more of like a sexual class. And it right. It kind of teaches you how to like connect. It kind of, I guess, kind of similar to what you're telling me. Yeah. Um, just kind of like moving your vibes like with like within one, someone else. Right. Yeah, that's the idea. A lot of people don't know how profound it can actually be, right? Yeah. They just think like, Oh, okay, yeah, your energy moving with someone. They don't see the profundity of it. I mean, you can actually have a spiritual experience that puts you to tears, that yeah. like a profound realization of reality, right? And so it can be very, very, very powerful. Um, but again, just like anything, it takes practice. Right, yeah. So let's turn on some.
actually do is we can do something called, I like to call rainbow breathing. Okay. Okay? So basically when you breathe out, I breathe in. So instead of breathing in at the same time, okay. when you breathe out, I breathe in. So okay. I'll start, okay? And you see how that kind of creates this rainbow energy. So okay. it's circulating your prana back into me and my prana back into you, okay? And then we can do that same move. Okay. So I'll start out, so you inhale and I'll exhale. Okay, it's ready? Let's do a break, um, a breath hold together. I like that one. Cool. Sorry, I can really feel the energy. <laughs> so, okay, awesome. It's getting kind of tiring too. It's a yeah, I know. Too. Oh yeah, you're doing great though. Okay. Awesome. So I think, I think that's pretty much it. Let's cool. um, let's take a break. Um, whew. but you get kind of the idea, and I think you can really get the um, okay. get the essence of. Yeah. The more we were to build a connection, work on that, the more fluid. So it feels. is this for like partners that like are like strangers or like partners that are like dating this is or? the thing it can actually be both so we just did it and we're strangers I mean, yeah. right now obviously the more we got to know each other the better it would get mm -hmm. right and obviously when people get to know each other even more think about how you could kind of take this to the bedroom right it's yeah. very easy to see how you could take this to the bedroom and be doing everything that we were doing just you know 
with less right, attire, right, right? right? And then that could be really, really even more powerful. Yeah. Right? But um, yeah, so the idea is that the closer that you are with someone, the better that it is. And so all of a sudden you realize that intimacy isn't about performance, it's actually about this connection. Right. Right? Yeah, definitely. Now, but the, here's the thing, is that you could actually build way, way, way deeper of a connection, way faster than you think. And so basically, if I had you alone, I'd be talking to you about some very, like a lot deeper subjects, right? Yeah. That kind of seem uncomfortable, but really loosen us up and get us comfortable with each other, right? Yeah. I can't necessarily talk about this stuff on YouTube, right? right? right. <laughs> um, but that's the idea, so let's see. So that's the idea, right? And so it works for two strangers, but it's even better the bigger of a connection you have. Right, that makes sense. But for example, you give me like an hour with you, I could build a deeper connection with you than my previous self would have had with a girlfriend of three years, right? right yeah. Because there's so many games that people play, there's so much dishonesty going on mm -hmm. oh, that... trust me, I know yeah. all about that. Right? Yeah. And so that's the whole idea of Prima Sati Yoga, is building this intense, intimate connection very, very quickly and allow you to experience these incredible spiritual experiences with a partner way quicker yeah. than with meditation, right? That's cool, because I, I do feel like people don't really know like how to connect right. anymore. Like, We've lost it. Everything's yeah, about for sure. games, right? Um, everyone's doing like playing hard to people get. Don't, people don't really know how to be honest. Exactly. The, like I think the hardest part is just it's all about communication. And, yeah. Yeah. And this is the so. cool thing. It builds, right? Because once you really dive down this prima sati yoga route, you start realizing the perfection of reality. You start having these amazing insights, and you start being more accepting of people. So. Yeah telling the truth becomes easier mm -hmm. and it's just this positive feedback loop that yeah. I really think if everyone did it, it could, it could really help cool. the world. So, um, thank you so much well, I'm for I'm happy doing for you. That. I'm glad you're teaching people you know, yeah. how to connect, so it's cool. Of course, hell yeah. And um, of course, in any of your relationships, like, go for it, do this yeah. stuff. It's it's a really okay. awesome connector, so. I'll try. Where can they find you if they, do you want them to find you on the internet? Who? These, my, my followers, do you want them to find you or should I we keep you a secret? I'll be an anonymous. Figure. That's awesome, cool. cool, see, she's, <laughs> She's definitely down the spiritual path. She doesn't even care about followers or anything. That's awesome. All right. Thank All right. you so much for yeah, this video. Nice to meet you. Guys, I'll be do doing more videos to really explain what Prima Sati Yoga is. And um, I love you guys. Unconditional love. See you in the next video.